This is Steve Ridgell in the church where I'm on staff part-time, Hillcrest Church of Christ in Abilene, Texas, is spending every Wednesday night in October talking about social media. And we're encouraging people to be really aware of, of what they talk about on social media, how they interact, how they let social media form their worldview, how they let social media impact their emotions, everything from the old generation down to the teenagers, the whole church is working on that. Uh, we're encouraging some people to fast from social media or at least take a hard look at how much time. Now, there's a number of things that, that factor into this. Everything from how much time you really actually spend on social media to the addictive nature of social media. Now, so you become almost unaware of how much time you're spending. Now, that's true of every addiction. Alcoholics don't even realize they're having a drink after lunch at before supper, during supper, and after supper. I mean, that's just, you know, there, there are people that are addicted to, uh, to pornography and lust, and they don't even realize how it affects them. So I, I get the not being aware. So we're trying to build awareness. We're trying to help people take a hard look at it. Maybe back off a little bit. Now, it's ironic in all of this that I'm a little bit of a social media guy. I mean, this is a YouTube channel. If you're hearing this, you're watching it. And so while we're telling people maybe to fast from it, here I am with a YouTube program. And I blog, and so I, I, I get the, the kind of irony of that. But it's interesting to me because it made me think, this is the kind of stuff I, I want social media to do. I hope if you're watching this, you're being uh, uplifted, you're hearing a word about Jesus. If you're a follower of Jesus, you're you're growing because you watch this. If you're not a believer, I hope some seeds being planted that make you evaluate. Maybe you ought to think about Jesus. Social media can be really good. I, I keep up with a lot of people on social media. I do a lot of ministry through social media. I, I do a, a lot of stuff. But it's also awful easy to get hung up, in my case, on the sports aspect of social media. One of my good friends, Richard Blaisdell, several years ago, told me he was working on a sports fast because it was easy to get addicted to the sports news. I get that, so I'm trying to be a little more careful with how much I check all the sports stories on social media. I don't know what it may be for you. And by the way, our staff's kind of leading this, and yes, I am doing a very small part. I'm part of a panel that's going to, my part will be in a, in a week, I think. Um, and, and one of the things I'm going to talk about a little bit is the danger of social media and politics and how if you're not careful, your effort to influence people or just flat out tell people what Jesus would do about how to vote sometimes negatively affects the kingdom you're really a part of. Now, it's no secret that I'm not a big politics guy. I don't have room in my life for more than one kingdom, so I'm pretty much all in on the kingdom of God and not so much the kings of the world. But I sure see how dangerous social media is when you tell people, if you didn't vote for Donald Biden, you're not a Christian. How can any Christian possibly vote anything but we're a publicrat? Do we really think about what we even say when we do those things, how harmful it is? How many, I'm shocked how many people fall out of fellowship and I don't mean placing membership. I mean not being together in fellowship over things like politics, maybe chasing the wrong kingdom. So think about your social media. Thanks for watching this. This is Steve Ridgell.